this Carlton Place team, which is one of the best teams in Canada and has been the past few years, just the ability to keep up with them. And I mean, Coach Dagenet said it already this year. Ottawa's five. No, he wants to be one of the top four. In the league. I'm sure one of the top four in the country is without a, out of reach. Back to the point. Oh, the tip, and we got a quick goal. That was a quick goal by the Carlton Place Canadians. Nice tip in front, shot from the point. Get the Brett Murray with a nice little goal. Meisenheimer, who uh, we saw won uh, Player of the Week award for his... Oh, we got a quick goal, Gibson in front of the net. Really good open look at the net as well. First open look they were able to generate in these two power plays. Siraco fires it across. Oh, what a passing play. What a beautiful play. Across. Oh, in front. Meisenheimer. Backhand, but Clark with a big save. Meisenheimer again. Shoots. Big save. Where is it? Where is it? They're scrambling. It's goal. I, I missed who it was as well that, that got held down uh, on that play, but he just buckled underneath the uh, the weight. And oh, and we got ourselves a goal. Lombardosi, with it looked like a seeing eye shot. I don't think Adriano saw it. Straight from the point. He steered towards his Hillick. Hillick, car, scores! Beautiful goal. Finds Way, Way, back down low to Morales, back up to Govro, Govro looking for a stick, shoots, stamped by Pearson, and we got ourselves another goal. Larson, Larson over to Theo Chartis. Oh, what a beautiful passing play, and Bat finishes it off. Carlton Place has the tic-tac-toe of their own in its 5-3. Pass it to his defensive partner, Coutier. And Pearson's able to chip it out, and that's all she wrote. Ottawa is able to pull out the win. The 5-3 win against the Carlton Place Canadians. That's a huge win. And an impressive win, nonetheless. Especially late in the game there. There, there, <clears throat> there were a couple chances for the... Carlton Place Canadians to pull their goaltender, or at least it looked like they were going to be. But keeping things simple were the Ottawa Junior Senators keeping the pucks on the outside, forcing turnovers, and just firing the puck back into the offensive zone uh, for them and the defensive zone for the Canadians. They couldn't get the goalie pulled down by two until the last 40 seconds of the hockey game. So I think that really goes to show you how well the uh, Junior Senators played late in this one. And I think looking at things, uh, the junior Senators were able to connect with a lot more passing plays in that third period. We mentioned they were looking to uh, improve on that a little bit. They were able to, and they really, uh, they really benefited from it on the scoreboard, adding a couple insurance goals, some necessary ones at that because the Canadians were able to get on the board twice in the third period. And they seal the deal with a 5-3 to three win. Jason Clark, after the 5-4 to four loss to Ottawa in the first game, said that they don't want to be allowing five goals against teams like the Junior Senators. Well, after this game, they do it once again. 5-3 to three is the final from Jim Durrell Arena.